So this video starts with the previous video about exposing REST services ended. So we have a REST service here that returns department from ADF business component. And here we have a simple JavaScript using jQuery to figure out the department name and department ID, and then stick it into this HTML page. So again, a very simple jQuery based page. If you run it here from NetBeans, it actually runs it on a, the Glassfish server. And as you can see, I'm getting an access controller over here. And this is because I didn't enable cores on my ADF business component. So this is not a functionality that comes built with ADF business components. So we're going to use a third party open source library called cores filter and just add it to our project. All you need to do is get these two jar files, okay? Download them to your machine, save them in a specific place. And then what I do is I go into JDeveloper and I actually like to use um, a new library, okay? So I created a new library here. I added the two jar files, okay? And I also marked this as deploy by default. So there's the checkbox up there. Once I did this and added the library, I can go over to my project properties and add this cause library into my project. So this would actually make the two jar files available for this project. The next thing you need to do is you actually need to do some configuration. So basically tell um, the application to use this filter and also specify if you want to some initialization parameters. So I have this little script here that you can also get from my blog entry that will be linked from this video. And if you just open the web XML file and go to the source, you can actually just add this script file. So what the script basically does is it defines a filter um, and also a filter mapping for this cores uh, library. Okay, so basically using this over here. And as you can see, we have the init parameter that says which operations, REST operations, we want to enable uh, for cores. And if you also want to do updates, so you probably want to add the patch operation here, for example. Okay, once you did this, you can just save your project, okay, and redeploy it. So basically just rerun the project. Um, in terms of operation, nothing is going to change for your web service. So once the project is deployed, if you access and invoke the web service or the REST service, it will just look the same, right? So nothing changes here. But if you go back to your um, NetBeans environment and you now rerun the same page, the error about access control has gone. And if you actually go to the browser, you can actually see, if we open the page here, that we get the details for department 30. Okay, and It's very easy now, of course, to go back to the JavaScript, for example, and just to prove you that this is actually working, we'll change this to department 20 and go back to the browser, and now we see department 20. That's it.